Okay, here we have question 7. This is a construction question. Um, we must use only a ruler and a compass. Um, we must show all our construction lines and arcs. We've got to do, the first thing we've got to do is construct a perpendicular bisector of A and B. Another thing that's, that might be uh, asked to do here, which is the same thing, you might be asked to um, construct all the points that are equidistant from A and B, so the equal distance from A and B, and I'll show you that in a minute. But to start with, what we need is a compass. And if we place the compass point on to one of the points, A or B, I'll start with B, and then open your compass points up, and then make sure your compass point compass is over halfway between A and B, and draw you can draw a, virtually a semicircle around B, not all the way. Don't need to do that. Then move the point to A, keeping the compass the same. Get the point on A, and then not overdoing it, but getting the the compass near where you were before, and marking on those points there. And then we can get our ruler. And uh, we can work out how to spin it around. We'll spin it around until we can draw a line through the two points where the two arcs cross. So we need to be as accurate as possible. These sort of questions, drawing questions, are m marked by using an overlay. So the person marking it will just have it either an overlay on a computer or tracing paper, and they will just make sure your points are within certain tolerances on that overlay. If it's not, you'll lose marks. So that's not ideal. I was a little bit out there and a little bit out there. Obviously, with a, a real ruler and pencil it would be much easier to work out to draw those that line through those points. This line is a perpendicular bisector because it bisects the, the line between A and B at right angles. If I was to measure that angle there that would be a right angle. Also every point on this line on the perpendicular bisector is the same distance away from A as it is from B. Okay, Each point here. It's not the same, di these aren't the same distance away from A and B, but each point is the same distance away from A and the same distance from B. So this distance here is the same as this distance here, and then any other point distances are the same. So that's what your perpendicular bisector is. But all you need to do is the arcs and the line going through the two points where they cross. Okay, now to construct an angle bisector. I think I'm just going to move this angle over here a bit so it's not um, getting in the way. That was getting in the way. Um, an angle bisector is very similar, but, but we have to draw uh, the line that is halfway between these these uh, between this angle. Now you, you could use a protractor to do that. Uh, the problem with that is, is you, if you don't have any construction lines on, you won't get the marks for it. So if we have a compass, to do this we mark on a point on that line and this line that are the same distance away from our centre of our angle. We move our compass to those points and we're looking for a point halfway between X and Z uh, where these two arcs will cross. I move the point to that mark and then I've got an angle bisector there where I can use my ruler to mark on the line that bisects the angle. Getting a little bit fiddly for me Okay, done. Four marks, two for each.